Everyone has that one moment in life that really defines them. For me, it's getting my MFA in acting from UC Santa Cruz. Santa Cruz was not an easy school to get into. Hundreds of people applied, and only 20 got in. I want to make the world a better place. So when you make me look bad in front of this high society, I end up right back where I was. You have to help me! I'm going on an 85 minute walk. People in the business really respect you when you have an MFA, because they know you got the training to back it up. You know, I learned so much stuff in class that really helped me in the biz. Um, we did stage combat. My teachers weren't afraid to have us do advanced Meisner technique, and sometimes it got real. You think I'm a slut, don't you? I think you're a slut. You think I'm a slut, don't you? I think you're a slut. You think I'm a slut? I think you're a slut. Okay, that's too much for me. So after three years of grad school, I left with a head full of knowledge on acting, some lifelong friends, and a lot of skills that gave me an edge up on the competition on how to succeed in this crazy biz. And I had $114,000 of debt. <laughs> I wouldn't change a damn thing about my journey. And even though I haven't booked a professional acting gig, I know I'm on my path. Postmates? Okay. Yeah. Order from Tender Greens? That's me. Awesome. There you go. Cool. Thank you. Great. There should be a forks and knives uh, and stuff in there. Thank you so much. Have an awesome day. Oh, hey, um, wait. This is so random. Did you go to UC Santa Cruz? I did. That's crazy. Why? Uh, were you an actor there? Yes, I was. I was a part of the MFA program. Yeah. There was just 20 of us. Uh, I think over 600 people auditioned. I saw you in a show there. I want to say it was about refugees? Pen you saw Pentecost. Pentecost. I was the lead of that. That's crazy, yeah. Uh, we ended up doing five shows that weekend. It was exhausting. Cool, cool. Uh, were you in the undergraduate program? Oh, no. I studied finance. That's okay. I don't know how much you know about um, Santa Cruz's MFA program, but it's uh, pretty competitive. Yeah, over 600 people apply, they only accept 20, so it feels pretty rad to be one of those 20. Yeah, you said that about yeah. the numbers. Yeah, you, you start doing the math, you're like, oh, for every 30 people who applied, they only took one of us, so it's kind of a landing point to even get in. Awesome. Yeah. So what do you do now in LA, you know, besides the girl who orders Postmates? I'm <laughs> messing with you. Oh, well, I'm an actor. That's great. Good for you. Uh, I can tell you this. You're in the right city. Yeah. Where did you end up getting your MFA? Oh, I didn't. It must be kind of tough, you know, being in this competitive biz and sounds like you don't have a lot of rigorous training. Sometimes I'm like, oh, what, what are you doing? Well, I'll tell you this, kid. Just keep your head up. Just put one foot in front of the other, and things kind of start aligning, you know? That's good advice, you know? I mean, I just finished the show for HBO, and now that that's done, I'm going to head over to New York and shoot this recurring on a Comedy Central series, and I'm just, like, so grateful that they don't conflict. That's awesome. That sounds like you're doing great. So grateful. It's like you already got some work lined up. That's great. Yeah. And if you feel lost and you need to go back to the training, like, just take a class, you know? When I was in Santa Cruz, we'd been in class from 8 a.m. to 10 p.m., and it definitely gives you an edge. Cool. Does your agent get you out a lot? I'm actually currently unrepped. How long have you been looking? Uh, about 12 years. Oh, my God. Yeah. It's kind of hard when you're a straight white guy. How did you end up getting your agent? Oh, um, well, this is kind of random, actually. I was doing this Instagram web series, and it went viral. That's so awesome. This assistant from UTA brought me in for a meeting, and in this meeting, it was like a huge conference room, and all these people were there. And, and all of a sudden, I was signed across the board. You're killing it. Look at you, kid. 
That's great. And then they were like, you need to write. And I was like, oh my God, that didn't even occur to me. And I was like, okay, I have a journal. Like, uh, you know, That's I could just great. like come That's up with so stories. Cool. And then I linked up with my now writing partner and we have a pilot. That's awesome. Right? Yeah, it sounds like you're doing your thing. Oh yeah, yeah. Oh, uh, speaking of doing my thing, I have to go. And I'll, I'll run too, cause I got um, some more orders to take care of. Oh, uh, wait. Add me on Instagram. We should totally keep hanging out. Yeah, that'd be great. Awesome. Yeah. Oh, you have a, a lot of followers. Oh yeah, it, was, it blew up on Reddit. Like I don't know. Oh, Aaron. Yeah. Awesome. Really great talk, chatting to you about the biz. Keep in touch, dude. Good luck with everything. Sounds like you're on the right track. <laughs> if you ever have like a random role for me. Yeah. Go slugs. Seriously, keep in touch.